the beginnings of steampunk for us was when we first started exploring with that. We made some sculptures using mannequin heads and gas mask and and it was a it was a pretty avant-garde type of design. Right now, my my current job is kind of floor manager, and we have a huge warehouse filled with all kinds of vases and items that are rented by the brides for their for their functions. A client will meet with us up to a year before their event. We'll uh, design whether it's just the floral portion or we'll do the whole event design. And then when it gets closer to the wedding, we have to place the order for the flowers a week in advance, make sure that they're in, make sure that the season's appropriate for that style of flower. We place our orders to South America. Uh, we have these flowers shipped to Los Angeles and uh, sometimes we have this flower ship to, uh, to Miami. Then that week of the wedding, we pick up the flowers in San Francisco at the flower market. The San Francisco flower market is a, is a, a, a number of uh, vendors, uh, sonar growers and sonar brokers like me, that sell f uh, f flowers to the florist as well as the um, wholesalers. I think there are other companies out there that do things similar to ACL. I think we stand out in a different way um, because of, of our designers creating new things to present to brides for weddings. We do a lot of, um, a lot of decor with trees and branches and kind of keeping it um, green, if you will, because we don't use fresh flowers all the time. Um, and we can recycle those trees and use them over and over again for different weddings. They can only buy flowers from me. <laughs> That's the arrangement that I have with them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just been a great experience uh, with them. It's, it's been a tremendous pleasure uh, seeing them grown from, you know, from nothing to what they are today. We see a lot of people coming to um, us, particularly for different types of um, wedding design. Um, when we started about eight years ago, it was we saw a lot of white weddings, uh, and then three years into it, we saw to see um, some colors being infused into weddings. But now we're seeing people be more open to different aesthetics, uh, different design. Um, we've experimented with steampunk, with more gothic features, whereas eight years ago, we didn't really find that people were so open to that. Uh, we have to remember when we approach a wedding, oftentimes we're approaching a bride, you know, so there's a lot of femininity involved. It's, um, you know, a lot of times it's for certain price brackets, it's her day. They definitely try to work with the bride, and if the bride wants to be non-traditional, we were gladly accommodating that, that bride and, and their preference and their style. So sometimes the emotions being so high um, is uh, can be challenging. It was it was really nice, but it was definitely um, stressful because we had a time limit and we only had a certain amount of time to be on the property and to get the the trees up and the crystals and the flowers placed in time for the ceremony. So that was, it was a little stressful, but we got it done. We had you know we had a time limit, but definitely we got it done. We usually sell to a customer, a given customer, um, five, ten bunches of flowers. Okay, each each bunch has twenty-five roses. Well, for Valentine's Day, just a couple of weeks ago, or last week, we were selling. We sell like six hundred, eight hundred bunches of flowers a week to our customers. On Valentine's Day, we sold four thousand. In order for um, the uh, the growers to accommodate the tremendous increase of roses for Valentine's Day, they have to do what they call a pinching. Pinching means that what you do is you make the flowers produce three or four buds for when they're only supposed to do one. It's not natural for them to, uh, to produce three or four stems, so the plants become weaker, the flowers become weaker, and they don't last as long. The one wedding that really stands out in my mind um, is the wedding that we held at the Ritz Carlton in Half Moon Bay. And the flower bill for that wedding alone was $125,000.
I think um, the one change I've seen since I got married 25 years ago is um, the weddings are really over the top and grandiose, especially with my company because we do high-end weddings. I think that the expense of it all and the, the wow factor, it's, it's bigger than it was when I was younger. Definitely a lot of changes. Uh, the flower business used to be um, a more lucrative business. Uh, it was more fun uh, because of the way things are today, uh, very, uh, very competitive. In, in today's world, here, especially here in California, it's very um, mixed because we have a lot of different cultures living here in California. So we do all kinds of weddings right now. About two or three years ago, um, the, the trend was that the, the designs were mostly flowers, you know, like big arrangements of flowers. I think of um, big bridal bouquets, uh, kind of cascading down. Uh, the florals would be, you know, you know, lots of flowers for the centerpieces, and maybe only that. That had changed dramatically. Now what people are buying is uh, designs and props, and, and by that I mean like candles and, and uh, candle walls a lot of props on the table, up and down. I think the biggest change in the wedding culture today that we see in America is that people are starting to customize their weddings and their events much more. Um, it's less uh, standard, I would say cookie cutter, um, from what they've seen their friends do, and they try to bring their personality and their style into events. I don't know if it's good or bad to be I think that whatever the bride wants nowadays, um, you can always create your own, your, your own dream and your own style for your wedding. And it's really about personal preference, I think. Um, I think it's good that uh, people can have a wedding. It's more personalized to who they are. It's not so cookie cutter. And you can show up at an event and you know, this is so-and-so's event as opposed to just anybody's event. It's, it's bad for people that sell, ro sell flowers like me. It's bad because then we sell less product, but it is good because the public gets to see a different aspect of designing. Uh, the small business uh, florists, they probably um, will not be uh, in business uh, for, I will say, within the next 10 years. The tradition, uh, well, especially with ACL, it's just, it's different each time. So it's not like something that's done every time at, at, at the weddings. Um, I think that, um, like I said before, what, whatever the bride wants, um, we try to accommodate them. We started our company in the San Francisco Bay Area. So people are pretty open to um, the shift but they're always creating something different. And that's what's exciting about working there is they never have the same thing twice.